How's it going, everybody? Happy Monday. Today, I'm going to be doing a trade recaps of the trades that I took today, December 6th. Two trades, both to the short side. One on Lucid ended up being break even. The other one on Tesla, I took the pre market low break and got a 14 point move in one minute and made $2,055. Absolutely crazy. Those moves are not normal. Every now and then though, when you happen to be on the right side of something, the move can be really big and this just happened to be one of those times. So now let's get into the watch list. Today I was watching Tesla. Of course, like always, it's my favorite stock to trade. Nvidia, Lucid, PayPal, and Home Depot. Now let's get into the technical, starting with Tesla. So it's been pretty beat up the last few days. It's below the 9 EMA and the 20 SMA. It was trading right near that 1000, which is a big psychological level. So the main levels that I was looking at was pre-market high. If for some reason this dip wanted to get bought, especially if a ton of people or buyers step up at 1000, and if it goes red to green and takes out pre-market high, I thought it could move higher, but knowing that there is some resistance to the left. And then if off the open it was weak and it broke this 50 SMA and pre-market low, I thought it could get some selling pressure. Okay, now NVIDIA. So it's still very strong overall, but the last handful of days have shown some weakness. It closed below the 9 EMA, the 20 SMA. Just trying to keep it very simple. If the dip wanted to get bought because it was trading lower, knowing where pre-market high was, and then if it broke pre-market low and the overall market was weak, I thought it could get some selling pressure. Okay, now Lucid. And the reason why I was watching this is because some negative news came out that Elsid gets subpoenaed by SEC related to the SPAC deal. So obviously a lot of people I'm sure are gonna be short bias, regardless of having that bias, just realizing that there is bad news, it has elevated volume, and now like always, just focusing on the technical levels rather than trying to have too much of a bias. So it really was just looking at pre-market high, which was pretty far away, but if the dip quickly wanted to get bought and it took out pre-market high, then I thought maybe it had a chance to move higher, but there is resistance to the left. And then if it broke pre-market low, I felt like it could get some selling pressure. And then also knowing where the 50 SMA on the daily was and prior to the open, it was at 3580. Okay, now PayPal. And the reason why I was looking at this is because it's been in a downtrend. The nine EMA continues to be resistance. If the overall market was weak, this is a bear flag. 179 has been a big area of support. If that broke, I felt like it could get some selling pressure. So that was the main level that I was watching to the downside, 179. And if for some reason the dip wanted to get bought and it took out prior day high, I felt like it had a chance to move higher just because it's been really beat up on the daily. But bigger picture, it is in a downtrend. So really my main focus was to the downside and that 179 was gonna be the key level. And now Home Depot. And the reason why I was looking at this, pretty self-explanatory, it's a very strong daily chart, trading close to all-time high and it's above the nine EMA. So the main level that I was looking at to the upside was gonna be all time high, which was 416.56. If it clears that, I felt like it could catch momentum. And then if for some reason there was some weakness, just knowing where prior day's low was and it was at 404.45, I don't like shorting strong stocks, but I always like to know where that level is. Okay, so now let's get into the first trade, which is gonna be on Lucid. The reason why I took this, Look at that first move off the open, had a big move higher and it clearly stuffed at resistance, just looking at some of the trading in the pre-market. And then it very quickly set a high and then that two minute candle closed green. So it quickly set a low. And then that next candle rejects VWAP and it's about to break the low of that prior candle, which is the opening low. It also happens to be a whole number 40. So I was looking at really a two minute opening range break to the downside. I normally don't like to take trades very quick, but being that this had a pretty aggressive rejection, it's below the VWAP, below the nine EMA. I thought if it takes out that morning low that was very quickly set off the open, that it had a chance to move lower. And also something that I was aware of is if you look at the CB at the top of this level two, that stands for circuit breaker. It means that it's on the uptick rule, the short sale restriction, meaning that if I wanted to trade shares, and I just hit the bid, I wouldn't get filled. I only can get filled on an uptick. And sometimes that can create crazy movements where maybe the stock moves lower pretty quick, but because you can't hit a market order and get filled, it'll have a bounce the other way. And sometimes those bounces can be very aggressive. So knowing that in the back of my head, I wanted to see this break 40 and break 40 very fast. If it broke 40 and then started to come back towards it, that was gonna be my key to get out just in case if it bounced aggressively the other way. So it's coming into that 40 and I wanna anticipate the break a little bit. So I end up going short right there. I took five 40 puts and I got filled at $3.15. This is also gonna be a good lesson because look at the level two, look at the amount of size there and the orders just continuously get taken out. So that was a good sign to me because I thought if that buyer gets out of the way and this breaks, then there's a chance for this to really move lower. And then I wanna see it stay below 40. So the 40 breaks, and then it's on its way lower. If this at all has any sort of bounce, 
then I just want to make sure to get out of it because being that it's on the uptick rule, those bounces the other way can be very aggressive, but now I'm in the money. And then very quickly, buyers step up and I end up just getting out of the trade very fast because I wanted to see it stay below 40 and it did not. It started to get bought up very quickly and just to be safe, I want to get out of that position and I ended up selling those contracts at $3.15 for a flat trade. So I think the ability for me to get out really quick on that trade just comes with experience. I've seen it a lot of times before play out like that, where it breaks a key level, it looks really good, and then it stops on a dime, and then it reverses aggressively the other way. So that's why I ended up just bailing on it, and lucky enough, I was able to get out of it flat. Okay, so now let's get into the Tesla trade. So it was in a bit of an uptrend in the pre-market. It was above the VWAP, above the 9 EMA. I don't obsess too much about what's going on in the pre-market, but the reaction off the open, aggressive selling got below the nine, below the VWAP. And even though this is not necessarily the cleanest pattern that I took, there were technical levels below pre-market low. But the thing that made me feel good about it is it sold off pretty aggressively. If you see this little bottoming tail right here on this candle, buyers tried to step up and then the next candle instantly took that out. So I felt like if it could break the low, also knowing that pre-market low was below, that maybe it could get some selling pressure and it could be a nice scalp. So now the actual trade, I end up trading the 980 puts and I had to do a little bit of flip-flop to get there. I had to quickly switch to Tesla, double click the 980 puts, but because light speed's very quick, I was able to be ready. And I ended up going short as it made the new low a day, also knowing that pre-market low is below. And I got filled on those contracts at $42.85. Makes a new low a day and breaks pre-market low, instantly moves five points. I am very clearly in the money. This is a nice trade so far. And now as this starts to speed up to the downside, I just want to take profits because that is three red candles in a row. So I know it's getting very extended to the downside. Comes into 970, quickly breaks 970, comes into 968. I got a huge move. So I ended up just taking profits right there. And I sold those contracts at $49.70. Absolutely insane scalp. I got 14 points in just over one minute. And when I get a trade like that, you already know what I'm doing. I am done for the day. So now let's go check out the PL. Took two trades, had a break even trade on Lucid, which I think was really good execution, and then had the insane move to the downside on Tesla and made $2,055. Very happy about it. And that is a nice green day for me. So that was the trade recap. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I just wanted to highlight a couple cool things I have to offer. The first is going to be my newsletter watch list. This is going to be what I post on my private Twitter 30 minutes before market open every day. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a very quick highlight of the SPY, the Qs, the bigger picture, the upside level that I'm looking at, the downside level that I'm looking at, the market news or the catalyst that day. And then I'm going to list four to six names that I'm watching, my favorites that day, and then the catalyst behind them, if there's any news, the bigger picture idea, what's going on on the daily chart, and then the levels to the upside and the downside. And then I add some mental notes at the bottom, kind of what I'm thinking that day, make sure to keep my expectations in check and follow my process. And the second thing is gonna be a one-on-one -on -one call. So if you want something that's less of a commitment and you just wanna to talk to me about my process and how I approach the market, this is gonna be great. It's a one-on-one -on -one live call for one hour. So if you're interested in any one of these two things, there will be links in the description below. Feel free to check them out.